Okay. Right. Now, got a little job to do. And to do it, I'm going to need a fair few signs and a bit of wood. So let's get our hands on some of that. Um, wood. I've got, yeah, I'm going to need some, some fences. Oh, look, I've got 12 sides. Now that might be enough in all. And we're going to head over to J. Sano land. And Mary is partly, well, it is exactly why we're doing this. Because uh, I spotted something when I was over here earlier. Now, I didn't record it. I wish I had because I did some parkouring with Nixia, which was really funny. Um, but yeah. This is what I'm going to do. So I can fit a few more signs on, and then see, because there's something about the turn of phrase that Mary uses. Okay, so gosh, Mary, sometimes it's not what you say, but the way that you say it that matters. Never mind, that's what friends are for. Mary would be very grateful if nobody built here right now. He promises that he'll be building something special very soon. The layout is important. Much appreciated, so. Very good. Uh, yeah. And hopefully... Hopefully Mary will understand that. I replaced his signs ooh, good word, um, with the very best of intentions. Because I do consider him a friend. Hello, welcome back to Minecraft. And I don't know why I keep starting stood up the top here on top of my hotel. I think it's just one of my favourite views. It's uh, it's just a place where I feel very safe and secure. There's mobs can't get me. Uh, I'm close to sort of everything down there that I need and. I can see the town hall in the distance, which is sort of my other place that I call home. Um, yeah, I just really like it here. Anyway, so today I'm going to do a bit of building. I built most of this off camera or, uh, or on stream. I did quite a lot of it on stream. But uh, yeah, when, when I started building the hotel, I had to get it from being an an eyesore to something that was a passable half finished build within a very short space of time. And you guys had seen a lot of this sort of lobby area built in my single player world anyway, so it wasn't too new. But now that we've got it to this point, 
I can actually slow down a little and build more of it on camera. Yeah, with it being so close to spawn, I just, I couldn't leave an eyesore hanging around. And I mean, Muck's Castle is so close as well. So it's visible in people's videos and yeah, it's just, a, it's a very noticeable position. So I had to, I had to get it to yeah, a reasonable state very quickly. So it was a bit of a, a race build, this one. But yeah, now now that we can take our time a little, uh, the next thing to build is the bar. And I've been messing around with the footprint of this of this particular room. And hmm, yeah, I, I still don't think I'm still not quite satisfied with how it's going to look. And I think what I might do. I might move it in one. I'm just just looking at this. So, do we want that pillar in the middle of the doorway? That there's something wrong, not quite right with the shape of this room. And I think let's start with this. So, yeah, pillar there. See, the problem we've got is the windows here. How do we connect to these windows? I mean, we don't actually have to have windows there. That, If I was to remove a window, it would resolve a problem. It would mean that we could shunt this doorway to wherever we wanted it to go. We could actually put the doorway... Maybe so that the middle of it is here. Let's see. And then it would line up with this. It would sort of... Let's see, it would be a, a three-wide doorway. So it would come to, to here. And I wouldn't have to build it far back. I'd just take out this window. That would probably work. I mean, we would lose a little of the symmetry between this side and this side, but I don't think that would be an issue. So maybe we should just try that. Uh, let me see what pick I've got. Yeah, yeah. All of my picks that I've made uh, have had either Fortune or Silk Touch on them. Uh, and this one's got efficiency and that's probably a little bit OP for working on sandstone. I'm going to end up cutting uh, far more than I intend to. So I'm actually going to swap it for an iron pick. What's that one? Yeah, we'll not use silk touch. We'll use my fortune. I've got more fortune picks. Right, let's see where the foundations are going to go. I'm going to leave it floating at the moment rather than building some sort of basement or building it down to the floor because uh, I think what we'll end up having is I might move the path just a little over but the bar will float over the path. Okay and I want that block there. So this is where this room is going to come out to. don't want to connect it yet. Uh, let's go get some more blocks. Oh, 
பங்கம் Okay, so I'm just going to build it too high for the moment, but I haven't worked out what I'm going to do with windows or doors or what we'll do out in this space, whether there'll be nothing here or whether I'll have some sort of patio. I have no idea. But for the moment, we'll just light this up. And yeah, I am quite tempted to have that floor continue through here. And maybe we'll just cover the underside with uh, with leaves. So we would need these. <laughs> Let's just get my levels right. So I think I'll be happy with with having the back wall there. This seems like the right sort of size. I'll probably put a window there. But what doesn't seem right is this that to have because I like this shape where we've got a sort of bit jutting out the front and that's how I had it in my uh, original single player version uh, but this just seems too narrow it's too narrow to be useful it does feel like I need to just extend it one more window wider what would that be just three blocks Yeah, it'd only be th an extra three blocks. So what would I be encroaching on if I went an extra three? Obviously this tree, we'd lose the tree. I think I'm still within my fence boundary though. Not that that sort of marks a boundary, it just marks a, uh, an easier working zone. I don't think it would affect muck at all. An extra three blocks. Let it just be this tree we'd lose. I could plant another tree, sort of three blocks backwards. Let's uh, let's pop upstairs and see what how it'd look from the roof. Or maybe not from the roof, maybe just from up here. Yeah, we might want to put another tree sort of back there. If we remove this tree here. Let's start laying the foundations. So the key thing was that this needed two windows, not one. Let's put in enough for that. Okay, so that would take this up to here. And then we would have a corner piece down there. be much better. Just watching for mobs a little as well because uh, with this expansion I'm not sure whether 
whether this is still mob proof or not. Okay. So if that's the corner piece, then we'll have it, oops, wrong one. I want it to come round. Yeah, that's better. It's just not quite so compact. I we'll want it to come out four because it'd be the same as that one there. So four. And then it'll turn and come out again. See in this corner we'll have that will be the window there. So that will be the wall up. Um, So wall, window, wall, so this will be corner. foundation will continue along here and because I'm not sure what I'm doing with this back wall I'll just assume windows let's build across the top apart from anything else windows saves a lot of, a lot of blocks uh, so if we decide we want something different to windows uh, in the long run then that's easy done okay now what we've got to work out now is where the windows would go if it was two windows let's uh, let's remove the candles for a moment we can use them. So if we had it be two and a gap and two and a gap and two and then two. Right, so we can't do it like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got a a whole of ten to fill. Okay, so let's assume we had two windows like that. Stand back a second. So if we had two there, and then that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to have to have a, um, a two pillar in the middle. One, two, three. So the pillar is going to have to go here and here. So maybe what we do then is we actually pull in the windows by one. And we make them 
three wide windows. Yeah, that would work. Okay, let's uh, let's make this make a bit more sense by um, actually doing it. So the windows need to come in by one, but then they're going to be three wide. I think, is that that one? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, so that's got some sort of balance to it. <coughs> and if I put in the corner pieces and cap it, it'll look much more obvious. Can I do it from here? just and obviously I need to do the same with all of those two Yeah, this, this has a much better feel about the room. It feels like it's the right sort of size now. And I think here we shall have another window. Okay, well, I might call it a day for that for now because I'm going to have to do a bit of grindy work uh, to get back, uh, to get the materials that we need just to finish the floor. And I'll need a lot more glowstone, of course, to finish everything else. Um, a lot more sandstone. Yeah, but it's looking pretty good. Let's get back up on the reef again. My favourite position. The atrium seems to be going right down well with people. Yeah. My lovely town hall. Right, let's... Uh, Let's, there we go. Say goodbye for tonight and uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.